Is that the one where you got really drunk one night and you'd send the the article in, or is that something else? No, that was when I got my job at Glasses. So, ah. <laughs> so I was sitting there. I was, I was feeling quite sorry for myself. I love this. I love this story. And I had a couple. Of, I had a couple <laughs> of glasses of wine, and I was. I was just looking for car journalist job, car writer job, yeah. car, um, car journalist. Because you were writer. still at Heathrow at this point. No, I was working oh. for. Well, I was working for some. I was working for Barclays Bank. Yeah. I was buying fleet cars. I was working oh, yes. for okay. a company called Dahl Contracts. They were mm-hmm. part of Barclays. They were in Putney. I'd had an accident on this motorbike where a minicab driver did a U-turn in front of me. I went bang straight into the side of him, smashed my knee up. Mm. And I was feeling very, very sorry for myself. And um, and like I say, I was still in this relationship that wasn't really going anywhere. And um, yeah, so, so I was surfing and I came across Alistair Ames used to be a um, motor trade recruiter. Mm. Uh, he probably still is and um they had this job for a glasses guide and i looked at the salary and i just thought there's no way i can afford to do this job because mm. i was making good money and i wanted to get out of this relationship and and establish myself somewhere else do some move just move just get just make things happen and i thought there's no bloody way i can afford to do any of this if mm. i take this job because the salary was was rubbish and because uh, it was as an assistant and you were really going in to learn yeah. your trade and, and so so at that moment you're trading off and like i know i can get in there and it could be a stepping stone into writing mm. about cars and it's super interesting and it was right in line with what i was interested in because i was you know i was still buying cars mm. on the side buying and selling cars so i was really in touch with that mm. that end of the still. market yeah and i was buying fleet cars and i was mm. so i was working for the purchasing department and of course purchasing and disposals are right together so mm. my boss at the time was um scotch guy what was his name anyways legend like he he was always at the bloody auctions and uh so so we anyway so there was loads of that going on so i fired him off some email and um and a cv <laughs> and the next morning i get a phone call and um and he said is that john and i said yeah yeah he said hello it's uh, paul jarvis here i'm the managing director at classes guide uh he's and he started laughing and he said is it he said by any chance did you have a do you have a drink when you wrote this had you had had you had any alcohol when you wrote this or something like that mm. and i said i la- i started laughing because he was laughing so i started laughing and he's i said yeah yeah i might have done yeah and he said, um, he said, we love this email. It's just, we've been laughing about it all morning in the office. We'd love to meet you. Mm. So, uh, what said, did you say? When can you come in? I can't remember. I mean, so I, I remember writing glasses as glasses, like, like glasses yeah. of wine. So yeah. G-L-A-S-S-E-S, which yeah. he, which he thought was hilarious yeah. anytime. So, and it was like, I'd love to come for work to work with glasses. Um, but I don't think you're paying enough. <laughs> <laughs> I, d- I couldn't afford to do it yeah. but I said you know I, I'd love to come down and chat to you guys and see if there's another opportunity somewhere in your organisation yeah. something like that so I was just trying to um, get your foot in the door a little lag bit. my way in yeah, the door yeah. with a higher with more money right so uh, typical salesman mm. so so anyway Paul said come in and we'll have a chat so anyway I went in and I just loved him mm. I just thought okay if I get to work with this guy this mm. is worth the drop. Yeah. This is worth the drop. And he di- he helped me out on the money. And mm. um, he said, I bet you're the kind of guy who just buys Auto Trader and reads it for fun. Mm. Where's he from? This and time? I said, mm. yeah, that's, that's me. I'm mm. that guy. And he said, you're, you're the guy we've been looking for. Mm. 